Hey guys, welcome to Heart Light Tarot. This is going to be the reading for the sign of Libra for the week, the two weeks of November 13th all the way till the end of this November, beginning of December. I wanted to do weekly readings, but it just wasn't working out with my schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and do bi-weekly readings. I hope that you guys are well. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be releasing this right before the new moon in Scorpio, so you might be feeling some kind of intensity. Um, new moons are usually ones that are positive and ones to manifest, but this one is a little bit more um, dramatic and cutthroat, so just be prepared for that energy. Um, uh, yeah, so that being said, this is going to be the reading for the sign of Libra. And we got our first card, which is the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is very Lib <laughs> very Libra card. Um, the reason I say that is because Six of Pentacles is, in the traditional tarot card, is a gentleman that's holding um, a scale. And Libra is technically, you guys are the scales, so you like to keep things balanced and even. And um, that's very meaningful for you. And uh, so it's a gentleman that's holding his pentacles in a scale. And he's handing them out accordingly. But he's also keeping some for himself. So some people see that as, you know, him being very generous because other people have what he has. Other people see that as he could be sharing more, um, but he chooses not to. So it just depends on what it is that you are feeling right now. So maybe you are being very, very, very conscious about what you are doing with your pentacle. Your pentacle is your money, it's your foundation, it's what you are able to give, um, what you are able to do to take care of others and, as, and yourself. Um, pentacle also represents the earth sign. So Virgo, Capricorn, and um, What's the other one? Taurus. <laughs> Taurus. So that can be um, meaning that there's somebody in your life of that significance. Um, maybe you're going through something right now where you don't have a choice but to only um, be very practical with your money because earth signs represent, you know, practicality um, as well. Uh, spending their pinnacle on things that will manifest for them or things that will what am I trying to say? Things that will be practical. Um, things that make sense. Things that will care for you rather than the aesthetics and the extra stuff. Um, let's get another card for you. And we got two more and I needed two more. So the next card is the Emperor. It's a sign of Aries. So maybe you know an Aries uh, that's of significance. And the next card after that is King of Wands. And King of Wands represents fire signs. So Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Um, maybe you do know somebody that is an Aries. That is a great significance because you have two signs that are and represent fire. Um, fire also means action as well. So um, the Emperor. Uh, he could be somebody of authority. Uh, it could be a female too, um, somebody of authority in, in your work. Uh, maybe you're working alongside uh, your boss and um, somebody that's higher up from you, somebody that you're learning from, somebody that's an action-oriented being that you can look up to, that you're learning from, uh, that you want to be like one day. Uh, maybe this person is helping you right now because you're having a difficult time. Um, King of Wands, your third card. Um, so I feel like you're trying to get to a place where you can be more action oriented. So you're able to make more decisions. You're able to be your own boss. You're able to um, be somebody that somebody can rely on and have no doubts in you. The King of Wands is a gentleman that has been through so much but won't hesitate to take action if his family needs him or his friends need him. You want to be somebody that somebody can come to and 
the bottom of the deck energy is the eight of cups so i feel like you're walking away from some from something that does not emotionally serve you anymore maybe you're going through um an emotional state where you're kind of over uh the situation you are uh, regarding your love life so maybe you're moving on and you're trying to get to somebody that you always wanted to be you're trying to get to that king of wand wands energy which is um I mean, as a king, I mean, we all want to get there. We all want to mature to somebody that somebody can look up to and somebody can rely on. And you feel like these emotions are this, whatever you've been a part of, whatever you have put all of your emotions in, you're walking away from them. You're letting them go because it does not serve you. It's not going to benefit you in the long run. It's not going to make you uh, stronger. It's not going to you want to move forward. You want to be stronger for yourself and for your loved ones. And you want to be able to give everything that you have to what it is that you're working on. So I feel like you're moving past stuff. And um, I'm going to get a good advice card for you. <clears throat> Okay, that's a lot of advice cards, but if I don't get it, oh, um, wow, okay. These are new cards and they kind of get stuck together, so I apologize. I'm just going to pull one. Nine of Cups. So, seeing as you just had the Eight of Cups as your overall reading energy, um, you're just moving on. You're trying to get to... Um, you're trying to get to maturity, like ultimate maturity. You're trying to just grow up and, and whatever has been holding you back, you're letting go of. And you're going towards your Nine of Cups energy. Nine is the next card after the Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups is emotional fulfillment. Um, ten is your ultimate cup. So Ten of Cups is um, your intuition is heightened. Um, you trust yourself entirely. You know everything's going to be okay because you are okay uh, emotionally and you're able to take care of yourself and your mental health and your physical health and also be there for your, be nurturing for the people in your life. So that really does meet up with this King of Wands energy, you know? So I feel like you're moving towards your Nine of Cups energy. So your advice from the tarot is just keep pushing. That what it is that you're doing right now, the, the decision that you're making is just it it's it's for your higher good it's you're not making it and the wrong choice and um with that being said i wish you a great rest of your november and i'll see you guys in early december bye